In Heijin's AI Studio, in addition to creating the talk video itself, you get the opportunity to make it a little more unique and personal. Add graphics, music, and text in the simple editing tool to make the video more interesting for the viewer. You get to AI Studio by selecting Create Video, Avatar Video, followed by the aspect ratio you want your video to have. AI Studio has a simple layout where you follow the icons step by step from top to bottom to edit your video. From the top, you see Template, then Avatar, Script, Text, Element, and finally Asset. You click on the icons to get to the different pages. On the template page, you will find a substantial collection of graphic presets. For those of you who like to start from a template when creating, you then easily edit the templates with your own colors and texts. Click on the avatar icon. On that page, you will see both stock avatars and your own avatars, if you have created them yet. In my case here, I definitely want to use my own avatar, so I click on this and then enter the mode where I see all my looks linked to that avatar. I choose this with me in a denim shirt in the studio. You will then see a still image appear in the viewing window on the right. Below it, you will see the timeline. If you've used any kind of video editing tool before, you'll recognize it. Right now, there is a standard script, a canvas, and a layer with my selected avatar on the timeline. You can move the player head by clicking and dragging with the mouse pointer, but it won't do much in this mode. Try pressing the play button and talk will be generated based on the standard script. This takes a few seconds, but when it's done, you can hear the script being read when you press play. But the picture still doesn't move, and that's actually as it should be. Generating video and customizing mouth movements requires a lot of computing power and takes a relatively long time. So that process is not initiated until you are done with your video and export it. Or as it is called in HeyGen, submit. But the spoken script is really what you need to be able to edit your video further and time in any text and graphics. You can zoom in and out on the timeline with the plus and minus signs to get more overview and finer adjustment control, respectively. Above the display window, you will see a menu bar with a bunch of icons on it. It changes depending on what is highlighted on the timeline. If you select the workspace, for example, you'll see that you can change the aspect ratio and background color of the workspace. But if you instead select your avatar layer, more options will appear. For example, changing the view from half body to close up or placing the avatar in a small circle. I will return to other options when it becomes relevant a little later. But what you need to remember now is that the menu bar is always linked to something that is marked on the timeline. This is a handy button. When enabled, the length of the avatar clip will automatically adjust to how long the script takes to speak. I don't see any direct reason why it should be turned off at any point, so let it be. Next to it, there is a button that says Timeline, and it can be good to keep an eye on. It expands or collapses layers on the timeline. For example, if you added text to your video, but that layer then all of a sudden is not visible on the timeline, but the text is visible in the viewing window. The reason may be that HeyGen has compressed layers to give you a better overview. You can then bring them up again and can edit them by pressing the timeline button. Before I go any further, I want to address how your project is saved. As soon as you start making a new video, it will be saved as a project called Untitled Video. You will then find it under Recent Creations on your home page. When you test a lot at the beginning, it easily becomes a real pile of such untitled videos. Get into the habit of always naming your video inside AI Studio, where you see it says Untitled Video. Then it will be easier to sort through your projects later on. In the top row, you can also see if your project is saved or not. You can't save manually. HeyGen saves itself at regular intervals. But to be sure, maybe you should double check that it says saved if you want to stop working on a project and finish it later. One last thing about the timeline. It can contain different scenes. You need to create a new scene if you want to change avatar or angle in the middle of a video. You need to be aware that graphics cannot be placed over more than one scene and that you can only have one piece of music per scene. A strange limitation if you're used to video editors, but right now it's like that. Now it's time to enter the script you want to be read aloud in your video.